So we're going to look ahead at uh, Just Eat, quarter three figures out on Thursday and another company that's struggling at the moment. Yeah, doing really, really badly. I think it's down like 27.5% this year. Uh, sort of investors are just not interested at the moment. It's half year figures in July. On the surface, we're actually very good. I think orders were up 30% to 104.4 million. Uh, revenue was up 45% to 358.4 million. So, you know, if you're going to plug two headline figures, yeah. You know, you couldn't really argue with those. However, investors are a bit sceptical over its spending plans. I think already over in the year it announced it'd be spending £50 million on building its own delivery fleet, sort of the, like Deliveroo, you know, just it getting its own uh, set of drivers, which investors weren't particularly happy about. Then they were especially not happy that that investment had gone from £50 million to £55 to £60 million. And though that did result in Justy seriously amping up its full year guidance in terms of revenue, I think from 660 to 700 million to 740 to 770 million, which right. is a really substantial yeah. increase. Uh, its underlying earnings estimates remained unchanged at, I think, 165 right. to 185 million pounds. And that being the key one for investors, really. I think they were like, if it's not actually going to lead to a, sort of any upswing in yeah. profit, then what necessarily yeah. is the value of it? Then on the other hand, you've also got some serious increase in competition for Just Eat. You know, for a while, Just Eat was just the delivery company in the UK. That's not really the case anymore. Deliveroo, obviously, is on the up and up. It recently announced that uh, companies could si uh, restaurants could sign up to its platform without requiring the use of Deliveroo's sort of fleet of mopeds. You had a JP Morgan report saying that Uber Eats and Deliveroo were sort of uh, signing up restaurants at a faster pace than uh, Just Eat could. Mm -hmm. That might be because Just Eat already has a lot of them on there in the first place, but it's still not great. And then finally, you had rumours in September that Uber Eats, uh, you know, Uber could buy Deliveroo, which would be a bit of a nightmare for Just Eat because that would, you know, two up and coming, fairly substantial rivals forming into a company that would be sort of on par really with what yeah. Just Eat is at the moment. All of that really combining to a really sort of toxic tra trading atmosphere for Just Eat. Not to mention the wider sort of macro issues that have caused the FTSE 100 to fall so sharply in yeah. the last few months as well have, have created, I think, sent just eat below six pounds it was like a seven month low of like five five ninety five at one point what is interesting is that normally in a situation like this our clients would be fishing around for a bargain yeah. perhaps looking to buy the stock under six pounds in this case they're not they're just not interested they're still selling under the six pound mark i think they're perhaps still thinking it's got a way to go mm. they're, they're clearly really not happy with the investment plans at the moment especially if delivery are moving away from requiring uh requiring rest restaurants to use their delivery yeah. service the fact that just eat is then creating their own isn't necessarily the way to go. And I think investors still remain uh, unconvinced that that is the direction forward for Just Eat. So like I said, they're still selling under the £6 mark heading into Thursday's results. Okay, doesn't sound good for Just Eat. Okay, thanks Connor.